What's up, fools? This is your one and only baby girl. This is Wedita right here. Um, I'm doing a eyebrow tutorial to like show everybody like how to do your eyebrows and shit. Like, like me, cause everybody be asking me like, girl, how you get your eyebrows to look so good? And I'm like, you know. It's a trick to it, you know, you gotta have like a personality and when you got personality like me, like you be knowing like how to do your eyebrows cause you know, bitches sometimes be going through emotions and you know, I wanna like be able to express those emotions on my face so you know, just to give people a little like history about me so they know like to either stay away or like you can approach me or like you know, stuff like that, like you gotta... You gotta be presentable every single day. If not, people ain't gonna wanna talk to you. So, so yeah. So, this is, like, a video for you guys. So, you guys can, like, see how I get, like, my perfect eyebrows, like, every time. So, right now, I'm gonna show you how I do my mysterious eyebrow. Because, you know, sometimes I be feeling sexy. And I don't want people to, like, know me when they look at me. So, I wanna give them, like, a mystery kind of look. So, when I do my eyebrows like this... Like, it makes me look mysterious and, like, you don't know what I'm thinking. So, yeah, like, I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. So, when I do my mysterious eyebrows, I do one like this, like, kind of low. And I like to use liquid eyeliner because it just comes out, like, super nice and super black and super clean. Like, I just waxed them. So, I like to do one like that. And, like, I'm feeling mysterious, so I'm going to put a little triangle right here. Because, you know, the Bermuda Triangle is kind of mysterious place. So, I'm going to put, like, a little triangle right here to be more mysterious. like that you see and then since i'm feeling like mysterious like i gotta draw one eyebrow like up you know what i mean because it just gives me that look like mm -hmm, you don't know what i'm thinking you don't know what's going through my brains so the other one i'm gonna draw it like up so i look like i'm kind of like thinking something you know but you don't know what i'm thinking because you're not in my mind Once again, we got to get the Bermuda Triangle because we mysterious right now. And I like doing it with this because when you like mess up or something, like you could just go in and like scratch it off or something and it comes right out. I keep putting my, my mirror in my camera, but you know, you guys understand what I'm doing. Then I just connect it right here, you know. We gotta connect for and shit. And you don't wanna be like having little dots and shit around your eyebrow because you're gonna look like you got fleas in your eyebrow. You don't wanna look like you got fleas in your eyebrow because that's dirty, dude. So there is my like mysterious eyebrow. You know, you don't know what I'm thinking. Like, I got the people's eyebrow going on. And that makes me just look more mysterious. Because, you know, when you have one eyebrow up, people want to know, like, what you thinking and shit. But I'm like, you know what? You ain't no sidekick, so stay up on my business. Like, I'm mysterious. Before I forget, you got to put your beauty mold on your face. Because, you know, every girl wants to be like Marilyn Monroe. So, I got to put my beauty mark on. Alright, so like this next one is like when I'm feeling sad. You know, like if I'm going to go to a funeral. Or like if my mom didn't make me like mole. Like I be having to make my sad faces. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make your eyebrows look sad. So, like when you sad, people know like... 
I'm sad. And you don't have to, like, get wrinkles in your face and, like, make your face go like this because you're sad. Like, no, you don't have to do that. You just use your eyebrows and you could be sad. So let me show you. Then you could make it like a little bit more longer, but you don't want to connect it too much because you don't want to look like the guy at 7 Eleven. So we got to just go like this. So now I look sad. So like, let me show you guys real quick what it looks like. Like if you see me walking down the street looking like this. Like you guys know like I'm going through something. And like I'm really sad. So I'm going to be like. I got you guys. You guys thought I was sad. Look, you see, that's why I'm telling you it works when you do your eyebrows like this because people really think you're sad. So, yeah, let me show you how to do the next eyebrow. So, you're going to make like this little like shape like this. And then you're going to like bring it down the mountain like that. Like that, you see? Then once you do that, you go like this. And then you bring it back up the mountain. Then you gotta like fill it in. Usually, like, I wear these eyebrows when I go to, like, to the club, you know, because I, I just feel like it makes me look really sexy, you know. And then when I got my little dress on, and then I got my lip liners on, and then I got, like, all my makeup on point, like, I just got to, like, wear it to the club, you know, because, like, not every day... Not every day, like, I want to be feeling sexy and shit. So, when I do want to feel sexy, I do this eyebrow because it makes me look so good. I be feeling like a princess. Like, all my friends, like, all my family, they be like, damn, your eyebrows are bad, girl. And I'm like, I know, like, and they be like, do you begin them tatting? I'm like, no. But, yeah, look, so here's my sexy eyebrows. I'll be posing for you guys, look. Mm, mm, Chiquita Banana, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, these are my sexy eyebrows, you know. Mm. I be wanting to put a fur. You know, I be wanting to feel fancy, like drink with my pinky up. And so, yeah, so these eyebrows right here that I'm going to show you, like all my haters be like, bitch, that's the, that's the Ronald McDonald right there. And I'm like, no, it's not, bitch, shut up. And I'm like, this right here is the Arch of Destiny. Like, that's what I call these eyebrows because, like, every time I wear these eyebrows, like, these are my everyday eyebrows. This is my go-to eyebrow, like, what I do every day usually. Like, if I'm not at the club or I'm not feeling mysterious, like, I be wearing my eyebrows like this. But I call them the Arch of Destiny 
because like good things always be happening to me like when i be wearing my eyebrows like this like i'll be getting opportunities all the time like people be like step like yelling at me on the street like damn you's a freak and like people be telling me all kinds of stuff all the time and i be getting like good things happening to me when i wear my eyebrows like this so that's why i call them the arch of destiny um, I also call them the Mona Lisa's because, you know, I be looking like Mona Lisa when I do my makeup. Like, that girl is, like, on fire. Like, she looks so beautiful. And I feel like I look like her sometimes, like, when I wear my eyebrows like this. So, like, let me show you how I do it real quick so I could do my Mona Lisa pose for you guys. So, ready? Like, here, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so, like, you're going to make, like, an M shape. Like, not for McDonald's, not for McDonald's, people. Like, you're going to make an M shape for, like, Mona Lisa. Not for McDonald's, like, for Mona Lisa. That's how, that's how you're going to make your M shape. Like that, you know. Like, you guys don't have to use the same eyeliner I'm using. Like, if I could afford it, I'd be using a Sharpie right now. But, you know, I can't afford it. So, a bitch gotta use what a bitch gotta use, if you know what I'm talking about. And just a little, like, disclaimer. Like, if you're gonna get down, bitch, like, go get your eyebrows tatted for a minute. Because if you're gonna get in a fight, it's gonna be so embarrassing if somebody just comes up and just rubs you and then like all your eyebrows, all your hard work that you put into it just goes away. So make sure if you're gonna be fighting and you're like one of them fighting girls, like you need to go get these things tatted because you do not look right if you don't got no fucking eyebrows. So you gotta pull it down like that. You gotta make like a little slide. Just remember, do not leave those little polka dots around. Like, you know when you get those little dots and shit, you need to clean them up. Because I'm telling you, you're gonna look like you got fleas and shit crawling on your eyebrows. And that happened to me one time. And they're like, oh girl, you got fleas. And I'm like, no. And then I went to the bathroom and cleaned it up. Look, look, look. You see, it looks like a little flea crawling on my face. I need to clean that up before... Oh my gosh, guys, I just smeared my eyebrow. It's okay, look, it's visible. Alright. There we go. Perfection, right? Damn, look, I look like Mona Lisa right now. I look like her, huh? But yeah, so like, this is the Mona Lisa aka the arch of destiny so yeah i hope you guys like this video and don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to like comment and like let me know what you think let me know what other eyebrows you want me to show you guys how to do so yeah shout outs to my girl Aurea. like she was the one that was like how do you do your eyebrows girl like you be doing them so good like they be looking so natural so girl this video is for you Hi, you are watching to fun videos. In this channel you can find a lot of fun. Like this video if it makes you laugh. Please write in comment which episode made you laugh the most. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch my other videos. All of my TikTok, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description under the video. Good luck.